So again, we have a bunch of quadratic equations, all the highest power, meaning the highest power is 2. And the first one I did using all three methods, but now I'm just kind of going to go for which one works best. So first thing I want to do, factoring is always fast when you can. So let's see if this guy factors. So I'm going to rig the 2v squared with a 2v and a v, and I'll rig the 3 with a 1 and a 3. So I'm thinking I'll make this a 1 and this a 3, and they both have to be negative in order for the negative 1 times the negative, negative 3 times the negative 1 to be a positive 3. And so let's see if this works. This is negative 2v minus 3v is negative 5v. So this will foil out correctly. So uh, either 2v minus 3 equals 0 or v minus 1 equals 0 by our zero product property. If two things are multiplying together, one of those factors has to equal 0 uh, if they have to multiply to make 0. So 2v equals 3, so v is 3 halves or v is 1 from that one. So either one of those, again, it's so impressive. We found a number, right? Such that if you square it and multiply it by 2 and subtract 5 times that number and add 3, you get 0 pretty impressive. So you could put this back into there, either one of those, and they will make that equation true. Let's do it again. So this one here, I'm going to set everything equal to 0 first. 2n squared minus n minus 6 equals 0. And I look for a GCF first, and I don't see one. So I try... I've got the old school habit of, of trying to find numbers that make negative 12 that add to a negative 1. And if I can't do that, I know it won't factor. So negative 12 to make negative 1 would be a, uh, a negative 4 and a 3. So this will work. And so I'll rig the 2n squared with a 2n and an n. And then I need to make a negative 4 and a 3. So this will be a negative 2 and a positive 3. So that'll be the negative 4n and then plus the 3n will give me that negative n there. And so if I set each one of these equal to 0, because my, my 0 product property, I'll get n equals negative 3 halves, or n is 2. Excellent. We do it again. So here I have 8n squared minus 4n minus 18 equals 0. So I want to factor out a greatest common factor first, GCF first always. So I'll take out a 2 and then I'll get 4n squared minus 2n minus 9 equals 0. And I'm looking quickly to multiply to make negative 36, add to negative 2. Is that going to work for us? Negative 36 to make negative 2. Hmm. I don't think that's... Yeah, that's not happy. So, um... So we, try, we would try to factor this, and it's not going to work. So usually what I do after that is I go straight to my quadratic formula. That 2 that I pulled out doesn't matter in an equation because I can divide both sides by 2 so that those two cancel, and then 0 divided by 2 is just 0. So let me take another sheet of paper out and do this uh, 4n squared minus 2n minus 9 equals 0 and I'll do it with quadratic formula. So remember my quadratic formula, which I've written it over here, is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And so my x will be negative b, so a positive 2 plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4 times a, which is 4, times c, which is negative 9 all over 2 times a, which is 4. And so this is 2 plus or minus, let's see, geez. so 16 times 9 is 144, and that's positive 144 because the negative and the negative make a positive. So that's 4 plus 144 is 148. So 2 plus or minus the square root of 148 all over 8. And then we have to simplify that square root if possible. So 148 breaks down to 2 and 74, getting lazy today, which is uh, 2 and 37. So I've got a pair of 2's that come out, and the root 37 stays inside. 
So 2 plus or minus 2 root 37 all over 8. So this would be like 4 times 37, right? Which is root 4 times root 37, which is 2 root 37. And I've got another uh, thing on simplifying radicals. And so usually uh, when you get to this point, if you can do uh, magic triangle style to uh, divide all those, don't forget that this is a 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Don't lose him. Uh, root 37 all over 4. I do it quickly there because it happens so often, but you never want to forget it's because you're factoring that 2 out. 1 plus or minus root 37 over 8. And only when you factor can you cancel. And that's why that's happening there. All right. That was a fun detour. Let's keep going. So this guy here, number 9 now, We've got 10x squared minus x uh, plus 9 equals 0. So we want to see if that factors. Quick check if I can find things that multiply to make 90 that add to negative 1. It'll work. So multiply to make 90, add to negative 1. Yeah, that's going to be a negative 10 and a 9. So I know it's going to work. So maybe I'll rig the 10x squared with a 10x and an x and I'll rig the 9 with a 1 and a 9. So, and then the last, so I'll make sure I add to negative 1 in the middle. This will be a negative 10. So that's negative 10x plus 9x gives me that negative x in the middle. And so this uh, factoring works. Hooray! You could foil it out and it works nicely. And then by our zero product property, one of these factors has to be equal to zero, so we just solve each of those. You get x equals negative 9 tenths and x equals 1. So factoring works nicely. If we do enough, we get comfy with it. So this one, 3a squared minus 6a plus 3 equals zero. Always want it set equal to zero first. I'm going to factor a 3 out of here. 3 times a squared minus 2a plus 1 equals zero. And this will factor more. If I do an a minus 1 and an a minus 1 equals 0, uh, that's completely factored. And I know that if this times this times this equals 0, then one of these factors has to be 0. So either 3 equals 0, a minus 1 equals 0, or a minus 1 equals 0. But 3 never equals 0, so I'm not getting any solution from that. In fact, I could have just divided every both sides by 3, and it would have gone away from that side anyway. Uh, so our only solution is a equals 1. A lot of students like to do interesting things here, and they think 0 is a solution or 3 is a solution, but it's not. And if you get really confused, you can just plug it back in, see if it works, and it will not. So just the a equals 1 works for that guy. And I think the rest are going to be the same. Let's see. Just keep going. So we got 9x squared minus 6x minus 11 equals 0. Check to see if it factors. Things that multiply to make negative 99 that add to negative 6. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking of 9 and 11, but that's not going to work. Uh, and I think everything else is not happy. So let's check real quick. Yeah. So when you see those quadratic uh, form answers, at me or those radicals in your answer, the thing didn't factor nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and do quadratic formula for this guy. So 9x squared minus 6x minus 11 equals 0. And again, you can use quadratic formula for anything. It's, it's pretty brainless just plugging in to those guys. And it's any form any equation of this, any quadratic equation of that form, the solutions will be in that form. So uh, even if it did factor and you just missed it, this would work. So I'll just plug it in. Uh, negative 6, so that's negative b, so the opposite of b, plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4 times a times the c all over 2 times a. So we have 4 times 9 times 11 4 times 9 times 11 is 396 
and that's negative negative so it's positive 396 so it's 81 plus 396 in there lovely so we have 477 so it's 6 plus or minus the square root of 477 all over 18. So your next question is like, okay, well, does 477 break down anymore? And I think it does. So actually, instead, let me show you. It's kind of fun. So you have 81 minus 4 times 9 times 11. I'm just going to make that minus minus a plus. So instead of making this bigger just to break it down again, what if we did this? What if I saw that, hey, those are both, I could take a 9 out of both of those. Maybe I can factor this thing. So that's 9 plus 4 times 11. And so now I can see that that 9 is going to be able to come out of the square root. So, and there's nothing I can do there right now. So this is 9 times 44 plus 9, 44 plus 9. Why is this? this is uh, 53. Let me make sure I'm still good because sometimes the arithmetic is the hardest part. Excellent. So I have 9 times 53, and so then you kind of wonder, well, maybe that breaks down more. 53 is... Is that going anywhere? I don't think that's going anywhere. So now you can see that this will be 3 root 53. So this will be 6 plus or minus 3 root 53. And do 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 do. I lost something. Went too fast. Let's see. Hmm. 